Hi guys, I'm Michael from Virtual Shape Research and in this video I'd like to demonstrate some of the new features of the Rhino plugin VSR Shape Analysis 2.0. One new function is the global matching analysis to globally analyze transitions between surfaces. You can either select a set of surfaces or simply choose to analyze all of them. When hitting apply, all transitions between these surfaces are found and checked for their quality. In this example I'm only checking position continuity. I'm searching for gaps bigger than 0.1 mm and as you can see one is found. When switching off defectives only all found transitions are shown. I am now having a look on the found gap and going to repair it. I will use the Rhino matching function for this but if you have VSR shape modeling 1.0 installed you could also use the matching function of that plugin. By the way, the Shape Analysis plugin is always included in the Shape Modeling plugin. Once the matching has been applied, the Global Matching Analysis realizes that the model has changed. So you can press Apply to recalculate the analysis without having to reselect the geometry. As you can see, there is no defect found any longer at this place. Once you have calculated the analysis, you can change the filter options to switch on or off the display of the different matching continuities. You can also change the values of what should be marked as defect. So you see there are still some gaps below 0.1 but above 0.01 mm. Some new features have also been added to the dynamic section command. Besides you can choose an individual color for the section, you have also the option to display capped areas of a solid. By default, the section only updates when releasing the left mouse button. Pressing the shift key while moving the handle with the left mouse button causes the section to be recalculated immediately. The capped area is displayed in the same color as the section. Another new option of the dynamic section command is the mode radial to curve. When choosing this mode you have to select a curve. The handle can be moved along this curve then and the clipping plane and the section are calculated accordingly. So that's it so far for this video. You can download a free test version of this plugin under www.virtualshape.com. It comes with a trial license working for three weeks after installation. Have fun with it and thank you for watching.